Welcome to Dr. Jester Runs, and I'm gonna rant about another retarded shit coming out from, well, communist fucking filthy China. Where else do you think it comes from? Anyway, from the Daily Wire, Chinese Japan Embassy tweets US as death carrying blood sucking Israeli flag scythe. Well, this is also present, thank you from for this ground news. This Unfortunately, it seems only to be covered by the normie or left-wing newspaper only on Business Insider, but they still try to, well, show in the white supremacist kind of bullshit in it. But overall, it's only been covered by Jewish Journal, Great Bart and the Daily Wire so far. Anyway. Let's go and read the news. The Chinese Communist Party embassy in Japan, evidencing its hatred for the United States as well as its own anti-Semitism, tweeted a cartoon showing the United States as the Green Reaper brandishing... Stop! Where was I? I hate those how to play videos. Uh, uh, showing the green brandishing a blood-soaked Israeli flag sight as it knocked on the door of Muslim countries with the caption If the United States, if the United States brought democracy, it would be like this. Mm. No, no, no. Oh, uh, uh, if the United States brought democracy, it would... No, 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 no. I can't do the Chinese accent. The cartoon posted late on Thursday afternoon featured the Green Reaper dressed in the stars of stripes knocking on the Egypt's door, South Morning China noted. Hmm. So, Ground News did not share that it... I'm still hunting the goddamn filthy mosquito. I'm gonna fucking kill this moronic shit when I'm done with the videos. And the problem is... This makes it hard, because I got a stiff neck from my goddamn filthy pillow. Anyway, this is what they tweeted. This is a disgrace. China, you're a disgrace. Jesus Christ. One person in Japan reacted to the tweet, which was later deleted by showing the photo of the famous moment in, the, in June 1989. I wonder who deleted it. Probably Twitter, because Twitter is a communist but a licking Bastards. Anyway, in June 1989 in Tiananmen Square, when one man faced off against a column of Chinese communist tanks, writing, This is what happens when you bring democracy to China. Someone else from Japan altered the embassy's tweet by showing the Green Reaper dressed in the Chinese flag and knocking on the door of Taiwan while showing the other countries as Inner Mongolia, Xinjiang, Tibet, and Hong Kong. Yep, that we correct too. Anyway, the Simon Wiesenthal Center for Rabbi Abraham Cooper responded there are no accidental tweets by senior Chinese diplomats. Classic ugly attack on the US and Israel. The true Green Reaper is the Chinese Communist regime. Exactly. They have a certain um, type of disease that is spreading throughout the world, which I blame completely on the Chinese Com Communist Party and its crime against its own citizens, insulting and frightening that Beijing deploys anti-Semitic imagery. Hmm, it's expected, they are communists, and Marxists, and Marxism, Marx itself, was an actual fucking anti-Semite. So, it's not a news on that regard. Anyway, Cooper added that the image was similar to the former Soviet Union demonization of Israel with classic anti-Semitic images. He added, the implication of what the Grim Reaper stands for, that is a, a horrific statement and to be deployed by someone carrying the name of the embassy chi of China in a democracy, that guy should be fired and sent back to Beijing. But that's the problem, Beijing actually supports this. So they are not going to do anything. Anyway. Lior Retz, director of Stop Anti-Semitism, told the journal, We are not surprised to see a Chinese government tweet, Twitter account espouse anti-Semitism while it simultaneously is operating modern-day concentration camps in their Muslim minority citizens. 
They are also having multiple bases in Muslim countries, but... Almost one year ago, the Chinese embassy in France used the exact same image, but that image showed the countries the Grim Reaper already attacked as Syria, Venezuela, Libya and Iraq with Hong Kong next. Of course, the caption read, who's next? Mm. After the Chinese embassy in France stated someone used the embassy's official Twitter account which strongly condemned such activity that damages the reputation of the Chinese embassy, Emilia Bruyere, a senior fellow of the Foundation of Defense and Democracy, fired back. The fake news story that the tweet was an accident obscures the real non accidental sentiment that it conveyed. The militancy quickly deleted in, case, in cases like this, widespread in discourse in China. The wolf warrior conversation begins to get at this. One beat farther, it's not unusual for the Chinese sources to talk about the US-China contest as a zero-sum battle. So while this may have been an accident, we should also be awake to the increasingly aggressive rhetoric in China and the sentiment it reflects. Hmm. Not surprised there, considering how goddamn China operates, huh? But uh, the ideology behind China is... As we all know, we all have seen it. It's based on Marxism, so socialism. All that ideology is based on is anti Semitism, racism, discrimination, death, and human suffering. How that ideology keeps on spreading is beyond me, but people are absolutely retarded on nonetheless. So, they go on and keep believing and things like that. Like he was, well, was Santa for kids. I actually believe in all of these things. I was discussing with a guy on Reddit over this, and he suggested a cancer type treatment on sociology or social socialism. And in that, you need to be direct, you need to go after it like you're treating cancer. And when it's gone, you need to still monitor it, and when it surfaces, you need to go and use chemotherapy on top of it. And I think that I have to agree with it. But how would we do that without infringing on people's rights and free speech? I do not know. And uh, it's a problem because people are absolutely retarded. Maybe more education with more speech in that case in which people need to show the effects of socialism in society or what has happened or what has given. Maybe inform people based on what Karl Marx actually believed, which was anti-Semitism, complete and total discrimination, actual racism. He was very racist against blacks. Imagine seeing a bunch of black people wearing the t-shirt of a Karl Marx, or spouting his nonsensical bullshit, or in that uh, there's nothing to lose but our chains excuse. But all of those things comes from Marx, and they still parrot it. Maybe what people need is more education, maybe that's what it is. And not censorship, but um, some people may advocate for, which I am completely and totally against it. And probably show to those moronic of the neo-Nazis who are actual socialists as well, that Karl Marx was an anti-Semite like them, and they are in fact parroting the same excuse as he does. And that communist and the communism in Russia was not led by Judaism or Jews, in fact, they got purged! <sighs> Maybe that's what needs to be taught, it needs more information, it needs to show history of what it was actually is, and these people need to actually witness it. Or not witness, um, well, in footages and things like that, or maybe show them what socialism, socialism is doing to modern day countries. But then again, they might actually go into protection mode in their NPC's brain and say, Oh, this is American propaganda, this is Jewish propaganda, and turns off. I do not know. My solution is more information, nothing more about that. but. Anyway, it needs to be treated like a cancer. Socialism is a disease. Anyway, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you like the content of this channel. Uh, stay right here on goddamn filthy fucking youtube.com forward slash Chester. If you like spicy and, well, exclusive content, head to bitch.com forward slash Chester or minds.com forward slash Chester. 
it has a different thumbnail so it, you can easily di differentiate exclusive content oh i got the burpees from drinking coffee mm, i need to pour myself out like a goddamn filthy baby anyway uh, thank you for watching have a very good night and remember fuck you youtube and fuck you socialism